I give myself permission to not think. I don't have to think. I give myself permission to not do anything. This itself is a meditation. Okay, it's not. It's an affirmation and meditation by itself. And that can be sustained throughout the day when there is a need for me to feel that I need to think something. Since I have nothing else to do, I can at least think. But since I have nothing else to do, I need to do something. Otherwise, I'm not productive. I just have to be present with myself in the present time. There's absolutely nothing I need to do for about an hour. Deepen your breath. Deepening your breath is also a tool. Today we'll be discussing and practicing as we discuss meditation tools. As you deepen your breath, you become aware of your body. You breathe in your body. Breath is going inside of your body. And you can release whatever you are holding on to as you breathe out. Somebody can give instructions. For example, I'm facilitating a breathing process. I'm not even facilitating it, breathe in now and breathe out now. I'm just merely suggesting and you don't even have to follow it to deepen your breath. And as you, at your own pace, no competition, that I need to breathe this deep, breathe out that deep. <sighs> Getting in touch with your body here and now in the present moment through the breathing process. If you want, you can take something else along with you, which is the Hamsa Gayatri. As you breathe in, you breathe in so. As you breathe out, you breathe out hum. If you don't do it, you don't lose anything. It's okay. So people would ask Phyllis what to do when you have to use a restroom or take a sip of water or drink. What if you realized you have something on the stove or something needs immediate attention, somebody has come at the front door. What to do? Phyllis says, take care of it right away. Otherwise, you'll be thinking about it. Go use your restroom as quietly as possible, not creating any more effort, distractions. Do what you need to do. Phyllis has removed discomfort out of meditation for me. She removed um, formatting, even though it's a very formatted exercise, but you do it because you want to do it. You, if you don't do it, you don't lose anything. Nothing bad will happen. If something is occupying your mind and it must be taken care of, take care of it then. But then immediately come back to it. In future sessions or your own meditation sessions, take care of the matters ahead of time. Okay, all my works are done. My phone is in the... Which I need to do that. My, I want to do not disturb. Yeah, do not disturb is on. And I'm sitting in a comfortable place. Now if you need to go, grab yourself a blanket or change the temperature, which is what I'm going to do. So that I'll be comfortable for the rest of the session. Sit comfortably. It's not necessary you have to be sitting in yoga position or padmasan. 
not necessary but if you want to absolutely you can if you want to sit on a chair it's okay lie down on a bed or a sofa also okay it's desirable to keep your back straight when we sit straight with our head neck spinal cord straight it allows the flow of energy through various channels in our body that's all one of the purpose of meditation is to remove blockages that includes removing physical blockages if we're sitting in a way that we are blocking or reducing the flow of energy we get less benefit so it's not a religious thing it is very practical thing very scientific same thing with our minds mind also open open to new possibilities instead of being stuck in the past in the past this happened what is it that you want now what is it that you see having in the future in terms of your mind deep in your breath and all of these things are possible here and now instantaneously don't have to go for a difficult path what kind of mind would you like to have and mind also needs training but let's have a vision i'll open up as an example i want to stay focused on my mission i don't want to be affected by anything external and i also don't want to be affected by anything internal which is my past traumas my past uh, limiting beliefs hmm we're talking about the mind it thinks about things in the past the original intention of this is to go over some tools om by itself is complete just go deeper into it this was uh, drawn by baba his own hands on a slate i can send it to you guys five elements are god it is up to you to look at water as god fire as god as breathe, the air you breathe as god the space we consume as god dharti mata as god it is up to you for me walking barefoot on the earth makes me connect with the earth same thing goes with the father son also we are able to see everything because of the earth, uh, father son the energy we get is from the father son covid ka sirf ek hi solution tha bhai sahab aur madam sunlight <laughs> go out in the fresh air go in the sun that was the solution oh corona virus rahega hi nahi corona virus kya koi virus nahi rahega mar jata hai it is antiseptic antibiotic antiviral sunlight yes take 20 minutes a day when you looking at the flame jyot jalao for me like uh, it's been a while now several decades uh, if i don't light a lamp i'm not giving you the you should do this there is no such thing as should you need to find one or two things that you connect with and you already doing one or two things but just have more confidence in it so when you light a lamp your what you're seeing is god fire element is god don't go into fancy things that god has to appear in a particular form like in movies or like in your imaginative mind it can appear that way also but it is already here i'm surrounded by god i'm surrounded by air i breathe in gratitude de sakte hain that's another thing circle of golden light don't get overwhelmed with everything it today is a bit of touching upon here and there and practicing a few things so that you know which tool to go for when you need it circle of golden light was the first tool that high c gave i want to be very clear with you guys okay i'm not going to mince words it is what it is you believe in it don't believe in it you have full right to do so satya sai baba for me thanks to my mother introducing me to him is the purna avatar is the kalki avatar he gave what was initially called as the 
cutting the ties that bind. It was called actually nothing. And Baba just gave tools to Phyllis in response to um, and her partner Virginia. They were friends who were looking for uh, some answers, human answers. Is there God? Where is it? How do you connect to it? And so forth. So Satya Sai Baba gave these method. This method could have been called Satya Sai Baba method. He gave this method internally to Phyllis before even Phyllis knew about Satya Sai Baba. And the first tool that Baba gave to Phyllis internally, and Baba was not showing his form to her. She was a conduit because she asked for it. Ask and it is given. Phyllis had said many times that it has taken me decades to understand. She said, you can be like me too if you do what I do. Ben, if we can all uh, have an aura of divinity when we do divine things in life. It's simple as that. So we can all realize our true potential if we practice some of these tools. No force. Do go at your own pace. Circle of Golden Light was the first tool given to Phyllis by, by High C. And uh, even High C did not reveal what it is. And they figured it out. Okay, it's point A, point B, and point C in a triangle. This is on a high level. It's called, let's call it high C. We are also embodiment of divinities. Hmm? So she practiced the circle of golden light for a year. She was told that she should practice the circle of golden light. And I ignored, in my ignorance, this tool as um, too basic. I said, I'm already doing figure eight. When I'm doing figure eight, I'm sitting in the circle of golden light. I want more advanced tools. Only I sort of, when I explored everything, I came back to the square one, going in depth with every single tool through practice and reading and discussing. Circle of golden light. Let's sit in the circle of golden light right now as we're doing it. Think, feel, visualize, or imagine you're sitting or standing where you physically are or in your mind's eye in any location of this planet, real or imaginary. Radius of the circle is your arm's length, fingers extended. So it's about six feet of uh, diameter. And the circle of golden light is on the ground. And you sit in the circle of golden light with nothing really to do. And that is how we started our meeting anyway. I don't have to think anything. I don't have to do anything. Being in my body, in the present location, in the present place, present time. Just sit in it for a minute or so.
if you feel sensitive energetically sensitive that somebody is in uh, most of us are empaths anyway we are empathetic we feel what other people feel and so forth so if you feel emotionally attacked negatively also practice this next tool which is the cylinder of golden light so i am already sitting in my circle of uh, light pull that circle of golden light up into the shape of a cylinder golden cylinder made up of or a cylinder made up of golden light there is no physical boundaries here but just so like it like with every single phyllis crystal tool you can practice it by eyes open or eyes closed it's not like eyes uh, closed is better whichever you feel like sometime you can do open your eyes sometime close your eyes as you feel you are getting the impression secondly you can think it the instructions in the method you can feel the instructions you can visualize them or you can imagine whatever is more natural for you so um, just imagine phyllis was not a visual person she was given a visualization tool despite the fact that she is not very visual so don't beat yourself up if you are not a very visual person and enjoy yourself if you are a very visual person <laughs> then there is beach ball okay when you feel physically threatened and by the way it can happen in uh, relationships like husband wife or um, in laws or siblings even at workplace you might feel being attacked when you feel you're being attacked whether it is verbal attack or if you see your presence is threatened you can do beach ball i'm just going to cycle through multiple tools think feel visualize or imagine you're surrounded by a beach ball a multicolored beach ball and this beach ball is made up of thick rubber anything that uh, thrusts itself will bounce back nothing can enter this and fill this beach ball with golden light and you can stay in this beach ball throughout the day or as long as you need to and come out when you need to or just practice it momentarily or as and when you feel unsafe physically threatened and when you feel safe you can come out of it and each of these tools take a minute or two or three monkey mind yeah what to do when the mind is jumping left right and center imagine your mind to be a monkey okay and uh, dress it up put a leash on the monkey hold that monkey close to you so say don't bother me right now i'm in the middle of a session practice this regularly until it comes in your control we want to control our mind these are tools to help us control our mind okay another is a tape measure imagine your mind to be a tape measure pull the tape out and snap it back in tell your mind to go back in another is a retractable ball point imagine your mind to be a retractable ball point pull it out and then snap it back in tell your mind to go back in these are very quick instantaneous tools that you can use at any time and as i'm saying it uh, i'm you you imagining you're practicing it doesn't take longer than this it can take longer than this for um, as you're beginning to practice it but we have practiced most of them at some point or the other okay let's go to the hourglass yeah so we we have been sitting in our now come out of the beach ball right i don't need the beach ball anymore yeah the cylinder can fade away i don't need the cylinder anymore let's uh, i'm already sitting in my circle of light if not go back into your circle of light or imagine you're surrounded by the circle of golden light where you give yourself instructions that i am surrounded like in a programming language circle of golden light arms length 
fingers extended on the ground. Now, the next exercise is hourglass or sand clock. Pull that circle of goldenite up into a shape of a cone meeting slightly above my head, also made up of golden light. This cone is also made up of golden light. So what is the shape of a cone? Ice cream cone. It's a three dimension. It's not a triangle. It's a three dimensional with an ice cream cone. Inverted. No, it's not an ice cream cone. It is just a cone made up of golden light. And another inverted cone on top, also made up of golden light. And the neck of the hourglass, where the two cones meet, is the symbol for your high C. Rama, Krishna, Allah, Buddha, Jesus, Muhammad, Jehovah, Guru Nanak, Kwanin Ma, Mother Mary, whatever have you, Sai Baba. Or simply a ball of golden light. And the hourglass is open from the top, open to the sky. Now you ask from the high sea anything that you want and repeat it three times. I'm going to facilitate uh, uh, what is similar to what is in the workbook, which is a more general one. And you can repeat these instructions in your mind. It is very important that you flex your muscles. Um, you follow along your own voice. You can even translate it in your own language if you like or words which are more comfortable for you. And you can completely ignore me if you already have your own um, set formula. So I imagine that everyone's hourglass is all set now. At any point, interrupt me, please. I'm here for you. I can slow down. Something is unclear. If you have a doubt, if you have a question, you're not able to do it, please ask. Hi, C. So I'm going to use the word Hi, C. If you have a name for your Hi, C, you give that name. Hi, C. And you can repeat after me in your mind or translate it. I see. I'm open to receive anywhere from the entire universe whatever you are here to give me right now. Let it enter the upper cone of the hourglass and trickle down in my life at appropriate time and rate. Repeat it two more times. I see. I'm open to receive anywhere from the entire universe. Whatever you're here to give me right now, let it enter the upper cone of the hourglass and trickle down in my life at appropriate time and rate. I see. I'm open to receive anywhere from the entire universe. Whatever you're here to give me right now, let it enter the upper cone of the hourglass, trickle down in my life at appropriate time and rate. Mm -hmm. So after asking for what you want three times, you um, surrender trust, accept, and gratitude. So I see, I surrender whatever I, whatever I have asked at your lotus feet. I surrender to you. I trust what you will give me will be best for me or what you are giving me, because we have already started to receive it. It works instantaneously and continue to work. And whatever you will continue to give me, I will accept. Surrender, trust, accept. Or you can just say the word, words, uh, surrender, trust, accept. That's fine. And then in the end, gratitude. Thank you, High C, for all the gifts you've given in the past. Thank you, High C, for all the gifts you're giving right now. Again, repeat the instructions in your mind. Otherwise, it becomes lazy. I'm going to repeat gratitude. 
Thank you, Haisi, for all the gifts you have given in the past. Thank you, Haisi, for all the gifts you're giving right now. And thank you, Haisi, for all the gifts you continue to give in the future. Uh, then the two major tools are the maypole and the tree, which has helped us connect the um, to the high C uh, and also to remove the blockages. Let's offer the rest of the session to the collective high C. Eyes open or closed. Uncross your legs if you are sitting with cross-legged on a chair. It's okay if you're sitting in the Padmasana or yoga position. Chonkri market hike. Koi problem nahi hodi. The reason you don't put one leg on top of the other or one foot on top of the other because it blocks the flow of energy. Think, feel, visualize or imagine a tree. Go up to the tree, greet the tree, tug on the tree and make sure it is strong enough to bear your weight. Put your spine against the back of the tree. If you're sitting in a chair, pull your back a little bit away from the seat or the backrest. And then you can lean against the backrest as you lean against the tree inside your mind's eye. Do as the tree does, just the way the tree has its roots going deep into the earth and branches reaching up to the sky, to the sun. Feel that oneness. Breathe in from the Cosmic Mother Earth, whatever you want. Or whatever Cosmic Mother Earth is here to give you. If you want something, ask for it. If you don't, say, okay, whatever you want to give me, I am open to receive. And breathe it in. And let go with a sigh of all the burdens you've been carrying. And I'll be quiet while we go through this exchange at an individual level. Turn your attention to the branches of the tree, reaching up to the sun. Breathe in from the Cosmic Father Sun, Surya Pita. 
whatever you want to ask for something specific strength courage intelligence and so forth good health yes whatever else you feel like or alternatively just i see whatever you know i need right now give it to me and breathe it in and breathe out any blockages Breathe in simultaneously from both sources. Breathe in from above and breathe out down below and breathe in from down below and breathe out to up above. Balancing both these energies as they flow through me. Hold the hands of the cosmic parents, ask the cosmic parents to, your, to appear, cosmic mother to your left hand side, cosmic father to your right hand side. You don't have to visualize them, they are energetic figures, you just know that they are there. Hold the hand of your cosmic mother with your left hand and hold the hand of cosmic father with your right hand. Hold their hands on either side, cosmic parents, and just breathe. And receive whatever they are giving you right now. Ask your inner child to appear in your inner scene. Hug your inner child or children and tell them you're here for them, taking care of them. Introduce your inner child to the high say. And give a nice multi-way hug, high say. A cosmic parent. Cosmic parents are high C. The cosmic mother, Earth plus cosmic father, son is equal to high C. 
yourself and your inner child or children a nice hug. If there's something you want to ask them, ask, go for it. When you're ready, rub your hand over your body. Stretch like a cat or no, coming out of sleep. Oh. Welcome back to here and now. Current moment, time and place. And as you hug yourself and say, I love me. I love me. I absolutely love me. <laughs> 